In this video, we're going to look at how you can add uh, LIGO graphics to a match that's already happened. Um, so basically, you're doing it as live within OBS. So you can see here that I have a blank production. The first thing I need to do is add the match footage. So you come down to Sources and hit the plus button. Navigate to uh, Media Source, which will be the video that you've extracted from your camera or downloaded from wherever you, uh, you streamed. And you type in a name of it. I'm going to call it Match Footage. Hit Return and I'll be asked to browse for it on my machine. I'm just going to select where it is, see so that you do wherever is relevant on your machine. Hit OK, and you'll see that not, it's currently sat in the preview, um, and there's a black frame at the top of my production. So what I need to do is I need to hit Cut. You'll see that that is now on the output. So I'll pause that, and we can see that we have the footage within OBS, no problem at all. So the next thing we need to do is add our overlay production link that you can get from your dashboard within LIGA. Uh, there is a video and um, articles on our help center of how you can um, achieve that. So I'm going to go straight on uh, and get that done. So come down to the sources again, hit plus, go to browser, give this a name, call it LIGO graphics, hit return, and in the URL section paste in your production link make the width 1920 and the height 1080 and you hit OK. Give that a few seconds and then that will generate what is on the output of your production. So you can see at the moment this is sat in the preview window. Um, in order to get this onto the output you have to hit the cut button in the middle under the transi transition section. So when you hit cut you'll see that is now overlaying on top of the footage. It's really important in your sources that you have LIGO graphics or whatever you name your graphic source above the footage. Otherwise it won't sit, uh, it will, if I had it around the other way, you see it sits behind it and you can't, you won't be able to operate properly. So at the moment it looks like we are set up. Um, we need to ensure that you're happy with where your um, record is gonna happen as you're doing it as live. So come over to the right hand side and select settings, then hit the output button and here make sure that the recording settings are as you wish, uh, the right recording path, the quality, what format you want, um, and once you're happy hit OK. Uh, next thing to do is start your record, and you can see that that's toggled to now be stop recording, so we know that that is actually uh, recording um, as we would like. Um, so on a separate monitor within where I'm working at the moment, I am going to say that the players have entered the pitch um, on my Live Score app. Again, there's articles on our help center of how to um, operate the Live Score app. They can be found on, uh, as I say, on our help center. So I'm going to hit that the players have entered. This will now run through an automation of various templates. So you can see we have a match caption, and then if you've got teams entered, if you're using uh, the specific data coverage that includes players, the team lists will appear. I'm actually not for the purposes of this demo. So now what I do is I'll hit that the match is about to start on the Live Score app, and we'll see a lower third we'll see a lower third that is the lower frame match item like so and when we're happy we say start the first half but the first thing I'll do is I will start the footage as I say mine was paused so if I now start that you can see that the game is nearly underway so the guy's just about to kick it off I'm hovered over the live score app I've hit start the first half and the match clock comes in and we're away and what would happen now is we would start logging this match as live with the LIGA graphics overlaid onto the pre-recorded match footage. So what I'll do is, um, for the purposes of this, I'm going to add a try to the home team, um, the Sydney Sharks. So I'll hit on my live score app, I'll hit that there's been a try and a conversion. So you can see in comes the graphic. As I say, I'm doing this on auto mode. So this will run through. I know it doesn't quite match the pictures, but it's just to give you an idea of um, what would happen if you were doing it as live. Um, and you can see that the conversion has happened as well. So as I say, we have some footage running in the background that doesn't quite match what's happening with the graphics that are being displayed, but you get a general idea of how you this workflow would be for uh, your individual production. So once it's run through the, the try and the conversion, the match clock will come back in, and then you're away and you score as, um, as you need to. Um, and uh, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Um, when you're happy and you're finished at the end, if you just hit stop recording in OBS, you'll have um, a file saved out to the path that you set earlier on um, in, the, uh, in the process. And uh, that's it.